Coach, just I just want to get your thoughts in on this team's resiliency um, tonight. Yeah, I mean, I, that Illinois, they could win a championship. That's how good they are. Um, they're so balanced. He runs good stuff. But um, I thought the crowd was – was off the charts. The student section was off the charts. Um, and I thought that was a big difference uh, for us playing. I think their physicality and their length um, for our first Big Ten, ten game kind of caught us off. Not surprised, but I think we have to learn from that. But these guys kept fighting, kept fighting, find, found a way to win. So I'm proud of them. Um, just on that last offensive possession what, what were you hoping for and just what does it say about Jameer to be able to step up and yeah that wasn't it? what I that wasn't what I drew up but um it sure looked good so no I mean it, it was it was one of those things you know we're we're trying we're in the bonus trying to get to the free throw line if anything but they they did such a good job switching and Coleman uh Coleman Hawkins is a monster out there he makes everything so difficult the way he switches the way he plays um but at the end of the day you want to put put the ball in your point guard's hands, and he made a great play. Yeah, but not sure if that was a matchup zone that you guys were using, but how did you guys, did you feel like you guys flustered them effectively out on the perimeter and kept them out of being able to use some of their inside options? Yeah, I mean, I th you know, I thought in the first half we did a really good job, even though both teams got off to a great start. I think it was 14-11 them um, to start. I thought the pace that we played with early on kind of helped us get going offensively. And then in the second half, um, I thought they did a really good job pounding it inside, but um, I thought we did a really good job of switching out, um, getting their guards be away from the basket, them taking a lot of bad shots, um, not because it was bad offense, just because I thought we were switching and, and really making them use a lot of clock. Um, so I, I, I thought the guys really paid attention to what we are trying to do. Coach, can Give us an insight of what's it actually feel like for that crowd to be on your side. Is that what you were looking for when you come to a place like that? Yeah, man, Maryland? I think that's what that's what Damon and I, that's, that's what we talked about when I got it was, you know, I want to get this program back to way to a championship level. To get it back to a championship level, you need to, you need a building like that every night. I mean, if you look at Kansas, is Kentucky's, um, those type of programs, which I think this program is on that level, they have a crowd like that every night. And if we can get that every night, um, you're going to win more games than you're going to lose. Coach, I believe this is the first time you guys have been outscored in the second half. How, how proud are you of your guys handling the adversity down the stretch and winning this one? Didn't take long for the negativity to come, did it? Um, uh, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we're going to be in a lot of games like this, you know, and I think it's, it's a great learning lesson for us. Like I said, this is the first time we've played a physical team, an athletic team. We've played good teams. St. Louis is really good. Miami's really good. Um, but not this length and not this size. So I think the good thing is that um, I think we, we're going to learn a lot from what we need to improve on. Um, and I, I was really proud of the older guys. Akeem Hart was great in the huddles. Just just kept telling everybody, like, you know, keep doing what we're doing. Things are going to fall. Um, you know, so I think, I think this game, you know, it's great that we won, but I think we're going to learn a lot from it. Hey, Coach, you sub Patrick a million in – early in the first half, and it kind of sparked the defensive intensity and led to you guys getting the lead. Uh, how can you speak to his performance on the defensive end of the floor today? You know, you look at Pat's, you look at Pat's stat line, and everyone thinks, like, he didn't do anything. And I'll be honest with you, Pat's one of the most valuable guys we have. Um, he's backing up to five. He's backing up to four. Uh, defensively, he really knows what we're doing at both positions, which is really hard. He knows what we're doing offensively at both positions. Um, he has been, he's been, you know, one of those guys that's like, uh, he's secretly like my MVP, you know, because he just does things that don't show up in the box, box, sheet, box score, whatever it is. Hey coach Willard, after the last win, you said, uh, the big challenge ahead come in big 10 play. I know this is one game, but, uh, what are your thoughts on kind of for this to be the first big 10 game for this team under your program? Yeah. I mean, it, you know, anytime you win a league game. It's important. Um, conference play is what it's all about when it comes down to it. Like non-conference, I guess, is good for, you know, your seating and stuff like that. But, you know, we're trying to win a Big Ten championship. So to beat, I think, again, I think Illinois is as well coached 
and top to bottom as a good a roster as anybody in the country. Um, to get your first one against a team that good is is really, really important. Hey, Coach. Um, just your scout on Shannon and then how you executed tonight. It seemed like even when he scored, you made him work so hard to score. Just what's your first impression of how you guys played him tonight? Yeah, I thought we played him pretty good. I mean, he's – if I was an NBA general manager, I'd be drafting that dude. Um he can do it all. I, I'm really impressed. I didn't, I didn't think he was that big. And then he walked by me and warm ups. And I was like, man, that dude's big. Um, the biggest thing we want to do is not let him get going from three. I mean, you've watched the UCLA game. Um, UCLA was kind of controlling that game and then he just went off. And um, I just, he's a high level player. And I think what I'm really impressed with him about is he's a high level defender too. In, in the first half especially, but throughout the night, it seemed like you were able to get two feet in the paint. And when you guys did, they seemed to make the right decisions with it. What does it say about not only the experience, but just how smart your team is? Yeah, I, you know, I, I think in Big Ten play, whether you're driving in the paint or, or post, post touches, you got to get the ball inside one way or another. You just can't – you know, I thought we'd take a great job shooting the basketball, obviously, in the first half. Um, but you just – you're not going to – shoot threes all night long in this league. So, you know, getting the ball into I thought Jameer was great getting the ball, getting into the lane um, and playing tough. Coach, can you talk about what Jameer has meant to this team through eight games and just how important a night like tonight and making that shot is for him, being a hometown kid and having his first big game here? Yeah, that's why Jameer came here. I mean, he wanted to play the highest level basketball, the big time program in the big time area. Um, that's why he's here, you know, and I think he walked out, and this first time, this is what he this is what he signed up for. He wanted the big time moment, the big time crowd, um, and he's a big time player, you know. And he's consistently gotten better. He's been unbelievable in practice. Uh, his leadership is getting better and better, and you know, this is this is the highest level of basketball, and this is what he this is what he wanted. Hey, Kevin, can you speak to Hakeem's performance tonight? It seemed like any time when you guys got into maybe a little bit of a scoring lull or a drought, he was there with a big basket. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, you know, when I, we started working out in the, in the uh, is April the spring or is it the fall? I think that's the spring, is, you know, the first, after three weeks of working out with Hakeem, I told him, I said, you could be a first or second team off Big Ten player. I said, you just got to believe in it the way I believe in it. Um, and I think, again, he's been the most consistent guy we've had. Um, defensively, he has to take the toughest guy. And, you know, he's shooting with confidence. He's playing with confidence. Um, he took a pretty good spill in, in the second half. I thought that kind of knocked some of his momentum away, but he's just, he's just been terrific. Kevin, you guys, if you could revisit the uh, first half, you guys had that seven-minute stretch where you held them to without a basket, just two points. What were, what were the ingredients defensively that really made things work in that? No, I, I again, we kind of made the adjustment in the press. They did a great job. Um, they put Sky Clark, they, they, you know, they kept Hawkins back. They moved Sky Clark all the way up the court. They were getting behind our second-line guys. Um, once we kind of, you know, once that first timeout came in, like I'm always big on the first timeout defensively. It's like you see how they're attacking your press. You see how they're attacking you. Um, and this this group has been pretty good about making adjustments. And I thought they did a re we did a really good adjustment of just kind of making sure for the rest of the half they were not attacking our press. They were going backwards. And I thought that was the difference. Kevin Julian Reese struggled a lot tonight, but I mean, came up big with that offensive board and put back late in the game. What do you hope he takes out of this game? Juju is going to get again. He's going to get better and better every game. He's a freshman. I know he's only, I know he's a sophomore, but last year doesn't count. Um, he's he's going to get better. The fact that he played 29 minutes, I think, is a real improvement in Big Ten play. He just has to get again. He hasn't played. Can we turn the phones off? No, I'm just joking. Everybody's like, took me serious. <laughs> Jesus. Um, oh, sorry, I'm not in New Jersey anymore. Um, Ju Juju, uh, he's going to get better. Like, he's going he's to learn from this stuff. Like, he, everyone's just got to be patient the way I am. Um, I think he played high level. It's just like he's going to have some times where um, the more he faces this physicality, the more he faces – size, the more he'll get used to it, the more he'll adjust to it, and the more he'll have games like he was having. As a New Jersey native, you, you, had, you had me there. You really yeah. 
Um, when you go home tonight, I mean, whether you're sitting on the couch or just thinking about this game tonight, just what is the biggest thing or that's going to pop into your head? Proud, the play is down the stretch. I mean, what, what's going to happen when you sit on, sit on the couch? I, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm not, I'm not BSing. Um, I will be in bed in like, hopefully – this is ends as soon as possible. <laughs> I go to bed every night at 10 o'clock. So these nine o'clock games, you know, are not my, it, like I took a five hour energy and um, three espressos and, and I was rolling there for a while. I broke a cuff link and then I realized like midnight hit for me, like I'm going to bed. I'll think about tomorrow. What about tomorrow morning at breakfast? Um, no, I, I mean, I'll be honest, and I, and I told the guys, I mean, I, I started a tradition at Seton Hall that, you know, we, our guys after every after every game went up and thanked the students. Um, they started walking off the court, and I was like, you know, you just had 6,000 students come to your game. You better go up there and thank them. Um, I'll, I'll probably just think about how great the student section is because I've, I've heard about it. I've heard about the flag. Um, but that's the first time I actually saw it, and it was really cool. No, I mean, I, again, I think conference games, it comes down to that so, so many times. Um, and again, having older guys, I think helps. Um, they kind of understand it. But again, I, I give Illinois, like I said, they, they had the same defensive intensity. I, I thought their defense was phenomenal. Um, they, they started switching out. They really started getting physical. Um, it was just a, a big-time conference game. Go ahead. Nope. Yes, you can. I think it's pretty cool, to be honest with you. Um, no, I didn't envision this. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think we'd get off to an eight and zero start. I thought we'd get off to a good start. Um, you know, I, I think it's important. You know, my main goal was to get everyone to understand um, in this area what this program is going to be all about. Um, and I think these guys have really proven to everybody um, what this program is. We still have a long way to go obviously, but um, I think everyone got got a glimpse of how hard these guys have worked, uh, the attitude they've had, um, and what this program's not only about right now, but what it's going to be about in the future. So it's really cool to be undefeated. Thank you. Thank you, John. Um, very, very happy for Kevin um, getting his first Big Ten win uh, in what was a terrific college basketball game. It wasn't always the prettiest, but uh, um, Kevin's a good guy. He's doing a hell of a job, and, and his team uh, his team showed that tonight. Um, you know, the first half, uh, I felt like we made a lot of mistakes, uh, stuff we, that we talked about um, in, in scout preparation that we didn't handle very well. Um, and, um, you know, we let, um, Hakeem get going and, and, uh, get a couple looks on threes just because we didn't handle all of our responsibilities, uh, very, very well. Uh, but, um, uh, and then transition, uh, was, um, you know, Jameer was, was electric in transition. Um, but, um, they played well defensively in the first half. We stood, we got, a, we got, Unfortunately, Matt picked up two fouls. Matt's been practicing and playing really good. He's a big part of what we do. And uh, one of the things we were trying to do in this game was get him some opportunities, and that fell by the wayside. And then, um, obviously, Jaden Epps has been a key for us uh, with three fouls. But uh, that's where we have to grow. Uh, we fouled way too much tonight. Uh, we fouled with the game on the line. Uh, for the most part, I thought we did a great job on the offensive glass against them or on the defensive glass against them, except the one time. And it was the biggest basket of the game. And uh, um, people can say what we want. Uh, Jaden Epps got a great look at a three. I'll let him shoot that ball every single time, wide open in transition. And, uh, but, um, you know, Terrence Shannon, Coleman Hawkins, uh, you know, Dane was really good. Um, you know, but... Uh, 
again, we, we've – RJ was much better in the second half. So, uh, hard-fought game. It's tough to win on the road in this league. Uh, we've got to become better. We've got to execute better. And, uh, um, you know, this is a, a very good Maryland team, and uh, the power rankings show that. And, and uh, uh, tonight was their – they were a little better than us. Scott and Jaden, first true road game, first Big Ten game. What do you want them to take from this one? Nine more of them, just like that. And it's it's a shame. I told Kevin before the game, I said, God dang, I said, it's nice to see some fans here. I mean, what the hell do the Maryland fans want? Um, that, was a, that was electric. This reminded me of the year I came in here at Oklahoma State. And, I mean, you could shoot a damn shotgun in this place. Uh, in the cop and state game and not hit anybody. Um, this is this is this is what it, it should be about in Big Ten. We got nine more of those, and uh, I'm a Kevin fan. He does a great job, and uh, I hope they I hope they do that for the other nine games they've got in league play because otherwise it's an unfair advantage for for us tonight. But uh, great environment. We got nine more. Got to learn from it. Coach down 11 points in the second half, and you shut him down and only give up three field goals like in the next 16 minutes. The defense and maybe the freshmen growing up a little bit uh, during that stretch to get back in this game and make it a ball game? Yeah, that's what we did against Syracuse. You know, you've got you've to gotta find ways to win when offense isn't pretty sometimes, and you got to find a way to win. I, I thought our defense was great in the second half, and uh, I made a mistake late, um, and, and, it, and it cost us. Ollie, this one will eat me. Um, Eat me up because uh, I didn't sub Dane out. Uh, I thought we needed him in for rebounding. I still had a timeout left. I left him in. We don't switch with him. And uh, instead of five-way switching, we gave up that last three. And that's on me. Uh, but, uh, you know, in the offensive rebound, we talked about all week. Um, you know, those, so those are two of their buckets. And I loved our D and hold him to 35% in the second half and 25 from the line. And, uh, you, you should win. You should win, um, even on the road when you when you when you guard like that. Hey, coach, you've had a couple of close losses d down the stretch, just a few possessions. As a coach, how do you ensure that execution gets better in those moments, and it just doesn't sm snowball into one close loss to another close loss? Yeah, it's so, just learning to win a possession. You know, we're the second youngest team in the Power Five. Second youngest. So how do you get experience? I think Jameer's been in a few ball games. His day, Dante's been in a few ball games. So it's, there's there's some there's some learning curve. Now, it, is that a damn excuse? No, we got really good players. They're really tough, and they fought from 12 down against a great team. It'll come. It'll come. I'm not making not making a you know mountain out of a molehill. I mean, we J Depp's got a wide open look, a wide open look, and then let's see how they react when they're down. But just missed a shot and made a play on an offensive rebound. How is Terrence doing after the shot to the head? And what did oh, it he's say? Got a, he's got a big gash. Or his eye. Yeah, he's got a big gash. He'll what did it say he, about his toughness? To yeah, he'll need stitches. He was he was bleeding. Um, what's that? He's getting them now, I guess. So, um, you know, I mean, that was a gusher. I mean, that was, you know, that was that was taking one from Tyson. Uh, Coach, I just want to get your thoughts on Maryland's defense intensity, intensity and the way Kevin has has those guys playing. Sure, he's Kevin's doing a great job. I, you know, I I think the one thing that I that that they're their their attention to detail, their 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 roles are very defined, and and you know it's a league that's really unforgiving. Because if you've got a weakness at a spot, you're going to get punished. And, and uh, you know, we thought we found one late, you know, being able to go to the interior, go into Dane. Um, you know, there's a lot of size in this league. But I thought their, their perimeter guys handled it very well. And, and um, you know, I've become a, uh, a big Jameer fan. I think he's terrific. I think he does a great job of leading them. And, and uh, you know, their press bothered us for whatever reason in the first half. And... Uh, kept us out of transition, out of tempo, which is one of the things we've been really good at. So he's doing a great job with them. This is the last one. Coach, winning his team over the last three years, but what is it about this place? What is it about this building that you haven't been able to break the seal here? You don't want me to go into the one three years ago. 
there's a long story about that one now that got some people suspended, but I won't go into that one. Great place to play. It's a great college. It's a great program. This program should be this every single night. And, and uh, it's a hard place to play. And Turge had great, great players. I mean, those dudes are littered all over the NBA. And, you know, the, the game we came in here with, with um, when I was at Oklahoma State, you know, it was a down to the wire, you know, free throw. And I've, we've had great, great battles. And, and um, you know, I think they're, they're a historic program with great tradition. And, um, you know, I mean, that's as good a college atmosphere as you're going to find tonight. And um, I'm proud of my guys for fighting. And, and yet uh, this is still the one, the one building I haven't cracked. Um, in the in the Big Ten yet, so uh, we lost in here last year and lost four others and found a way to win the league and that was a, that's my challenge afterwards. You got to, we just got to keep getting better. Hey, Hakeem, um, that crowd really hasn't been like that since your freshman year. What did it mean to kind of have that the crowd back, the energy back, and what do you think they brought today? Um, it means a lot to have a crowd back like that. Uh, it just gives us a boost to see on the defensive end. Um, just, we just focus on getting stops for them, so yeah. Uh, Hakeem, you and Jameer were able to really take advantage from behind the arc in the first half. What were you kind of seeing um, the defense giving you and how to feel to make those shots? Um, I feel like they were collapsing a lot. They played like a pack line defense, and we just had to space out and uh, just think our team was going to find us, which they did. And then we just made the shots. Hakeem, you talk about the defensive end. In the first half especially, do you feel like your guys' press and just general defensive intensity helped speed them up and help you guys really dictate the game? Yeah, it definitely did. It def uh, I feel like it, we slowed down their plays. They usually play faster than what they did, so definitely did. So. Okay. Um, how were you able to find your groove and get going from three point in the first half? Um, I think it started with my uh, first shot. Uh, after that, the crowd was going. I just, just felt it from there. Keem, you've always kind of been the guy that everyone looks at as the guy that you know, defensive uh, specialist does the small things. But now that you're kind of growing into your own here on the offensive end, Coach Willard said that he thinks you could be a all Big Ten kind of player. What do you think the ceiling is for yourself? You know, I also believe I'm an all Big Ten player too. So I just got to keep believing in myself, keep believing in my team. And that's it. Hey, uh, Akeem, were you one of the – did you run over and celebrate with the fans at the end? I know you had interviews at the end, but were you out there with them too? Yeah, I was definitely out there yeah. too. So I, I had another question about the fans for you. I mean, I, I remember you were playing here in front of an empty arena. 
going off and, and having good games then to do it tonight to to hear the the buzz around you how special was that and then what was that moment like at the end to go celebrate right there with them um it was definitely special for me uh, it hasn't been like that since like you said my freshman year and uh i don't think my freshman year we went to the crowd so it was just good to you know go uh cheer with them so yeah Uh, Hakeem, this is the first time this group has really been in the game that close going down to the wire. What do you think you guys learned about each other in the last seconds of the game? Um, we just learned that we just got to focus on mainly like boxing out teams better because uh, they got a couple, a lot of offensive rebounds that we could have, we could have boxed them out and got ourselves, but that's, that's the most part. Yeah. Um, Hakeem, coach talked a lot about Illinois in the link. What sort of challenges did that present to you guys, and how were you able to adjust defensively tonight to contain them? You said like their length. Yeah, their length, their size. Um, they were like a big team. They had like they played like a point center with Hawkins, so we just had to contain that. And on the offensive end, we just had to space out and create for the, for each other to get shots. So. Thank you. Uh, Jameer, just take us, um, just take us through that that final shot where basically you you helped steal the game with that three. Yeah, um, the pr the play had originally broke down, um, but coach just told me to come back to the ball, set a pick and roll at the top of the key. Um, Shannon had went under, so um, it's just normal when he goes under just to raise up and shoot. And I know if we hit a three, it would be a two possession game. So I just you know believed it in the shot. I practiced that shot. Coach believes in me, so I just knocked it down. Jameer, you just talked about the shot. How gratifying is it to come home, be able to play in front of this atmosphere, and then to knock down that shot as well in the process? Yeah, that was an unbelievable feeling. I mean, Terp, Terp Nation fans are the best. Um, that crowd was crazy. Um, the noise was crazy. Just being able to hit that shot was amazing. It's a dream come true. Something you dream uh, to do when you're a kid. Jameer, speaking of the crowd, I mean, you're, you're, you're a local guy. You came to Maryland, right here. You came to Maryland to play in these kind of games. You started out hot. How much were you and the team feeding off that crowd in the first half? Uh, it, we were definitely feeding off them a lot. Um, they brought the energy. Um, it helped us to, you know, get, go that extra inch. Um, I felt like we came out strong, and they were a big reason for that. So um, we thank them for that. Um, we need them to keep coming out and uh, just going to keep moving forward from there. Um, Jameer, at the end of the game, you and your teammates went over the student section and were, uh, you were being uh, very friendly with the crowd and thanking the students. Uh, Coach Willard said it was a tradition that he had at Seam Hall, which is thanking the student section. It's pro I think it's probably your first time doing it this year. How did that feel? I felt amazing. Um, just being able to, you know, be close up with them and sh see their emotion. Um, and he just, you know, we weren't about to do it and he told us to run over there, you know, thank them for coming, you know, show them some love. So um, I felt like that was very special. Jameer, what do you take out of this game that you maybe don't, you know now that you may be, you know, coming off the 7-0 and start and then you had this one. What, what, what's your general feeling on this team and how they handled everything tonight? Um, I would first say that Illinois is a tough team. Um, they're very physical. Um, we had tough. We had a tough time on the boards a little bit on the defensive boards, but um, just to be able to fight against uh, advers adversity and be able to come back from that um, is is huge for us. Especially, you know, we got a lot of new players being able to gel together, and um, you know, it's the start of the season. So be able to come together and fight through that as a team um, is special. And I feel like that's a big step for us, and that we could take a huge jump. Especially, we have to uh, stay level headed for our next game at Wisconsin. So it will be huge to see what we do there. Jameer, obviously, you said it's a dream come true. You talked yesterday about 
you know, might have been a little nervous going to sleep last night, but it, you were really excited for the game. What was what, what were your emotions, excuse me, going into you know your first big home game here as a Terp and putting on for the hometown? Um, just to give it all all we got and all I got, um, really. Um, just putting in the work um, all preseason, all summer. Um, it was just going to show. So being able to just trust your work and um, going out there and just having fun was key. Hey, Jameer, to, to start 8-0 on the season, to start Big Ten play with a win like this tonight, what kind of a statement do you guys think you made in the Big Ten and nationally as well here? Uh, I feel like we made a big statement. Um, but it's, it's huge for us to just to stay level-headed, like I said, and just take it one game at a time. And, uh, you know, we don't want to lose. So <laughs> just giving it everything we got every time we step on the floor. And I feel like we have a good chance of winning every game that we play. Uh, Jameer, you and Hakeem were getting open from three and making them really in the first half and to kind of build up that lead. How important was that? And what were you kind of seeing early to allow you to do that? Uh, it was big. Um, I felt like when we, once we got inside the paint and kicked it out, um, I feel like we have great shooters. So um, we're very confident in each other and ourselves. So just being able to get in the paint, then find each other um, and feed off of each other um, was big for us tonight. Um, Keem hit, I, I believe, four threes in the first half. So that was big for him to get us going. Yeah, he should be here shortly. So if anyone needs the game, I'll be in there. So, all right. Thanks. Thanks, everybody.